Sharon Willarm, Faith Flix Films here at NRB Convention, and I have with me Yoganan Marcelino, who is the producer of The Identical, and then Don Knows, who is a co-producer. So, Yoganan, tell me a little bit about this movie, The Identical. The movie is a, uh, uh, it's a film that, that covers five decades of period, from the 1930s through the 1970s. Okay. Uh, it starts off in the Great Depression, uh, it's about two identical twin brothers uh, who are who are uh, born to a family that is very very poor. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no work anywhere in sight. Uh, they don't really know they're having twins, and uh, and so when they have the children, uh, they're just dumbfounded about what to do. And uh, the lead actor, uh, the father in that scene, is Brian Garrity. And he goes to a, a, a traveling evangelist who's coming through town to basically seek God on what, what to do in his life. And he finds out that the, um, the evangelist who's preaching uh, mentions that his wife has miscarried for the last time and they're never going to be able to have children. And he was preaching out of Matthew on that it's better to give than to receive. And so he gets this idea in his heart to give one of the children away to have a better life. Wow. And so this is a story um, where one brother uh, stays with that, uh, the parents and becomes uh, a musical icon, like an Elvis-esque, Beatle-esque mm -hmm. icon in music mm -hmm. many years later. Right. And, uh, and the one that uh, was given away uh, to a pastor and his wife is going down the path to become uh, a pastor himself. Uh, a pastor's kid who's going to Bible school and so on and so forth. But he's got this incredible gift of singing that you begin to see at a young age. And it's an amazing, since they're identical twins, you know, identical twins feel things. They, right. they, uh, they even supernaturally can, mm -hmm. can, can connect with things, with each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a movie where uh, they unknowingly intersect at a point, and it's just fabulous. And uh, an incredible cast, uh, Ray Liotta, uh, Ashley Judd, Seth Green, Joe Pantoliano, uh, Aaron Cottrell, um, Blake Rain, who's the um, lead actor and uh, sings most of the original music in the film. Wow. Uh, uh, Amanda Crew and Brian Garrity. So uh, that's our big eight. Uh -huh. And uh, they do an incredible, incredible job. Uh, we have uh, a wonderful um, cast and crew. Um, Carl Walter Lindenlob, who did the uh, Independence Day, mm -hmm. um, uh, Dolphin Tale, um, Karen Wagner, who did the um, costume design, did the the Green Mile and um, uh, the Notebook. Wow! And uh, so it's a, it's it's a fabulous f film and period. But there's a there's a driving message that goes all the way through it. It's a, it's a movie about miracles. It's a mi movie about family. It's a movie about following your dreams. If he, God, mm -hmm. is in your dreams, no one can stand against them is one of the great themes of the movie. Well, great. Now, Don, what is your vision for the movie? What do you hope to see? Well, what, I think we have several visions for mm -hmm. the movie. There's one that's sort of overarching vision. Mm -hmm. And as Jokanan said, that basically is to follow your dreams. There are a lot of people in life who plan out your life for you. And this movie is a perfect illustration where a pastor who adopts a child mm -hmm. feels deeply in his heart that that child should follow in his footsteps. However, he knows deep within his own heart that this is not the role he should be taking right. and the road that he should not be going down. And there's tension, there's struggle throughout the movie well-meaning people who want to give advice but deep down on the inside he knows he has to follow his own dream and I think there are millions literally millions of people across this country who need to hear a message like that they are living somebody else's life through them instead of living their own life and so if there's one takeaway people need to follow the dream that God has given them and they need to, as Ashley said, there's a time to stand in your own shoes and be who God made you to be. 
Well, thank you. I'm Sharon Wilharm, Faith Flicks Films, and next we'll talk with two of the lead actors.